Welcome back to the RMAC Showcase. The Western State Colorado Volleyball Team hosting Black Hill State. The Mountaineers have been tough to beat at Paul Wright Gym earlier in the season. They beat 12th ranked Colorado Mines here in Western. Coming in, having won two of their last three first set. Amanda Maestas sets up Tori Garrity for the kill. Mountaineers win 25-20 second set. It's Garrity with the winner. She had a match high 13 kills with 10 digs. Western wins 25-18. Match point in the third set. Great dig by Maestas. What a volley for both teams. It ends with a Haley Rehaj kill. Mountaineers win 25-19. They sweep the match 3-0. They have now won three of their last four and are three and one at home. I think the crowd's energy helps a lot too. Um, and just the fact that we practice in this gym every day helps us feel more comfortable on the court. Being picked last, uh, um, being overlooked a little bit, and like I said to another interview, that I get it. I get it. I get why we were overlooked, um, but it was a mistake. And these young ladies are proving it, and I'm proud of them. We're once again at the Mountaineer Bowl at Western State Colorado University in Gunnison. The women's soccer program is now in its fourth year here at Western State under head coach Jeremy Clevenger. There are seven players who started out as freshmen and are now seniors. They've seen the program go from first year to contenders in the RMAC. Western State hosting Westminster at Gateway Field, the highest collegiate soccer field in the world. The Mountaineers coming in with a five and five record while Westminster was six and four. The Griffins striking first Madeline Orr. Nice shot from 35 yards out. That is her second goal of the season. Westminster leads one nothing at the half. Second half, Western State gets on the board. Elisa Montano gets one between the wickets, her fourth goal of the season. We're tied at one with a little more than 30 minutes to go. That would be the score until the final minute of the game. Time winding down, Jessica Kressel finds Samantha Braun with the header. What a goal by the senior Western, taking a two to one lead with just 10 seconds to go. Then a red card goes to the Mountaineers keeper with just two seconds left. Westminster's Heidi Lorscheider with the PK. Two goals in 10 seconds. We go to overtime and another overtime game ends in a two to two tie. They're, they're a good side and they're going to have a lot of victories in this league and, and so we knew they were going to be tough coming in and um, you know they gave us all we wanted today. It's emotional for all of us because we have been here since the beginning and been through all the highs and all the lows and so uh, but it makes it worth it. Games like this does make it worth it because you're so emotionally involved and to play as a team like that from having all four years is just incredible to see and have that fight and will gives me confidence in the team that's going to take over next year. Western State would win their next game against Colorado Mesa to move into fifth place in the RMAC standings. The running backs coach here at Western State is Jeff Williamson. His career as a Mountaineer started back in 1980 as a fullback. He's now in his 24th season as a coach at Western State, a career that spanned five different head coaches. Ready, one, two, three. It's team photo day at Western State for running backs coach Jeff Williamson. It's his 24th team photo day in a row. Started coaching in 92 and been here ever since. Got married, had a family. Coach Dub, as he's called, started his coaching career under head coach Duke Iverson. Then it was... Actually, Wayne McGinn for a year, yeah. Coach Zinesek, uh, then Coach Stu, and then my big boss right there. In a business where coaches, in particular assistant coaches, rarely spend more than a few years in one place, Coach Dub has become an institution. Obviously, he brings a lot of experience, um, you know, with 20 plus years of coaching at Western and been, you know, around a lot of coaches, a lot of different coaches and, you know, having played here, um, you know, he just has a lot of experience about, you know, how it's, you know, what it takes to be successful here at Western State. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Williamson first arrived in Gunnison from New Jersey back in 1980. He played in the same backfield with good friend Sammy Seal, who went on to play nine years in the NFL the best running back he'd seen in Gunnison until current running back, Austin Eckler. He's a total package. You know, he's great in school. He's great in the community. He's my next door neighbor, so. <laughs> he's like a father figure to all of us running backs out there. He's the guy who's mellow when it's tense and he's tense when we need to be tense. Uh, he's, he's probably the most mellow coach that we have and we get along with him very well. Everyone loves, loves Coach Dub. Eckler says Coach Dub is a great role model, did we tell you? In addition to being on the football coaching staff, 
He's also a detention deputy at the Gunnison County Sheriff's Office and a member of the Gunnison Volunteer Fire Department. He's one of the hardest working men I know in my life and I appreciate that too. I look up to him for that. He's all, all around, year round, going non-staff with the, the police, the police station and the fire station as well. And so he's, <laughs> sometimes he comes in tired, but he's still, still got that smile on his face, still same old Coach Dub. I guess I'm honest with the kids. You know, I enjoy what I do. Um, they're eager to learn. You know, they, I learn more from them than they do from me all the time, but uh, it's, just, it's still enjoyable. In RMAC Women's Swimming and Diving, California Baptist is the pick to repeat as conference champion. Western State Colorado is picked number seven in the preseason coaches poll. The Mountaineers with an early season meet. Once again, here's Connor Putman. An early season duel as Western State takes on CSU Pueblo. Both programs are new. The Mountaineers are in their fourth season after more than a 30 year hiatus, while the Thunderwolves are in their second season with swimming. But Western coach Jeff Hansen does have a veteran leading his team. Um, we have one senior who's made it from the first class four years ago till now. She's a great leader. That senior is Danielle Ginsberg. She competes in the fly in the individual medley, and she knows how tough starting a new program can be. Just to see the growth of this team has been really awesome, and just to see like the depth we have through our team, and like everyone's going towards a common goal, and that's really, really awesome to see. And I know Pueblo will get there. It just takes a little time, so I definitely feel for them, and it's just been really cool to stick it out all four years. Hanson is now in his second year as Mountaineers head coach. He was an assistant at Division I Arizona and Wisconsin before getting the head job in Gunnison. Hanson emphasizes the team concept at Western State. You're growing up, you're on a club, you're, it's really an individual sport. It's the first time these guys get to experience being on a true team. Um, so I think that brings out a lot of a lot of camaraderie and a lot of a lot of good team atmosphere. That concept works in this meet as Western State wins 147 to 76. They win eight of the 13 events. The following day, Western State beats rivals Adam State 152 to 51 in Alamosa. You know, just to go like any any stride and improvement would be really awesome, and just to kind of see the growth of the team as my final year, I see it and. I'm really, really excited for this season. The RMAC Swimming and Diving Championship begins on February 10th in Grand Junction. Reporting from Pueblo, Connor Putman for the RMAC Showcase. Thank you, Connor. Still ahead on the Showcase, eight was great for the Western State wrestling team. Coming up next, Western State basketball. We go all access. We'll be right back.